what's up everyone good morning hope all of you are doing well <clears throat> for those of you new to the channel my name is Osmani Herrera um, and you're gonna figure out what I do right now because of this particular video so I was just driving I'm on the way to the office right now and I realized that if we want to become successful in life right we have to adopt what I am going to dub the pilot mentality okay check it out Ultimately, the one who steers, right, and knows how to steer the plane is the pilot. The most valuable piece of that puzzle, the linchpin, is the pilot. Can you replace a pilot? Absolutely. However, there are pilots that are better than others, right? That's when you see these stories that the plane is about to crash and the pilot somehow pulls it out of their ass and they're able to save that plane. It happens, okay? But like you all know, there are few and far between that are pilots that can pull off so-called miracles, right? So how did I come up, up, across this reasoning, this rationale? I realized that yesterday I was talking to one of my partners and I was telling him, hey, you know, I want to become more of an SEO expert. I know a good amount about it, right? I've been around it for over a decade. I am versed in it by all means. I know a lot about it. However, what he mentioned to me was absolutely correct. He goes, why do you have to be the expert in every single subject? That's what you have us for. And, I said, and now I, I think about it, I'm like, he's absolutely right. He is my SEO expert. I'm the pilot. He is my AMP engineer airplane uh, aircraft and power plant that's for for those of you who don't, don't know about um the aviation industry amp stands for aircraft and power plant if i'm not mistaken or airframe and power plant so he's my engineer right he knows the seo much better than i do my job is to steer the ship right so when i meet with a client aka a passenger on the plane they tell us, hey, this is my destination, okay? Everybody makes sure that they're doing their part to make sure that that plane is ready to take off, and I start yoking, uh, I start pulling on that yoke, I start lifting that plane, I start putting more thrust, I start making adjustments as we go, I start evaluating all the gauges, making sure that all the metrics are working, so on and so forth. That is my job is to steer that plane or to handle the plane or however you want to call it, fly the plane. You have to become the pilot in your life. 
understand that there are people in your life that are going to help you achieve your goals and you just have to fly the plane. What a responsibility do you have? It starts and ends with you. If you don't know how to fly that plane, best believe you got to learn. Regardless of how old you are, if you're 15 years old, 17, 33, 68 years old, it's never too late to learn how to fly your own plane. There are small instances in our lives where we have flown before, but then we get fear. And fear is a motherfucker. Fear will take the most capable people and turn them into piles of shit. I'm sorry to say it that way, but it's the truth. Fear will consume the greatest of minds and like a parasite, start eating away at your greatness. <clears throat> you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your ability to take control of your life. Maybe you're afraid of heights, okay. You're driving your car. You like the ocean? Cool. You become a captain on a ship. So, insert random instance of where you are completely in charge of your destination. Are there circumstances that are going to happen? Absolutely. That's why I gave the example earlier on about the pilots who somehow pull miracles out of their ass and they're able to land planes in high turbulence winds, etc., etc. A tire blows out and they're still able to tail it on the runway, so on and so forth. Circumstances are going to happen. You cannot change the circumstances, but you can change how you approach them and react to them. I'll leave you guys with that. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that this video, as always, brings you an immense amount of value. So, if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to put a couple of links in the, in the uh, description below of where else you can find my content. Uh, just so you know, I am going to be most active on YouTube for now. Uh, because it's the one that allows me to open format, provide you guys with as much value. Then I'll also be posting these videos up on Facebook, uh, SBS Digital Marketing. Um, additionally, I'll also be posting it on my Stop Being Stagnant IGTV. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day and let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave it in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to address the topic for you. Take care.